one of my Istanbul vlog. I've actually already been here for a week, but I've literally done nothing. I've just been chilling for the first week. I have five days left here. I leave Friday. Today is Monday. So I've literally packed the entire week with activities since I did absolutely nothing the first week. Our first activity for today, cooking with a Turkish family. So I found this on Get Your Guide and it looked really cool. It's like a cooking class with a local Turkish family in their home. It had really good reviews and it looks like a really cool experience. So I have booked that. It starts in 15 minutes. Luckily, it's only a 15 minute walk for me. So we are gonna leave right now. After that, I have to literally rush to the other side of Istanbul because we have a, I have a walking tour at 4.30 p.m. So I have to walk to the ferry stop and then we're gonna get on the ferry to the Asian side of Istanbul and do a walking tour of that. So I'll bring you guys with me there after. So let's go. Tomato uh, on top yeah. and uh, papers, then uh, put oven. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds nice. Understand? Yes, yes. perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, perfect. perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Right. Yes. Here, please. Yes. <laughs> it be Sorry, I'm... Uh, I... Not the smell, smell okay, okay. Well, and then... How much do we peel? Just, just one slice on each side. Ah, okay. Put here. Do you slice on yours as well? Yes, uh, just slice on yours. I forgot to do that. So just a slice, but not all the way through. I'll do this But just one. down to... This you were paying attention, Angela. Yeah. Yes. I, I should do better on the second one. That's okay. It. That's it. Okay. I'll do the last one. Oh, there's... Do you want another one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get it right. Give it a go. <laughs> you guys are so fast. It's a skill that you kind of get used to. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> need to cook more then. That's why. You're doing well. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's a degree so that I wasn't doing that. But yeah. I, I was working for, uh, for a full time job basically, but um, in March I got fired. And I always wanted to do this, so yeah, I said, yeah. okay, I'm gonna build a concert build it, and just yeah. go for it. I wanna grow the community, to be honest, but it, I, I wanna do it in a less, yeah. least commercialized way as yeah, possible. Because otherwise, it will, like, it will lose the genuine feeling of that, yeah. which I don't want. <laughs> Who wants a cut? Spicy? Yes. Yep, yep. Yeah. I like spicy. Yeah. Okay. I had one the other day that the seeds were so hot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I thought, oh, it's green pepper. Oh, it'll be lovely. And everyone's going, no, it's fine. And I took them out and it was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. I'm nervous. It's a seed that got me. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a hot one. <laughs> That's a hot one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, very hot. 
<laughs> I, I, I had exactly the same experience the other day. It's like, we're oh, burning, oh, burning, yep, I had that exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, we put. You don't have thin aubergine, we can do a big aubergine. Oh, I see. We can do a bigger aubergine. Or you can slice an aubergine in half, and that would be what you've got there. Should I add more? Is that good? It's working. You. I don't understand. Maybe. Maybe a little more. Yes. Okay, your yeah, turn. turn. <laughs> Thank you. Silence, people eating. <laughs> very, very nice. Lovely. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna beat it. You basically take a piece of cream. to meet my group for the next tour and there's an insane amount of people here. I'm still like 20 minutes early so I don't know if they're here yet. Hopefully I can find them. Okay. <laughs> So this, uh, this district is one of the trendiest and most uh, populated districts in uh, Istanbul and originally it wasn't so crowded like you know, until 100 years ago or so on but now it's like this one of the most uh, popular districts. So uh, this is Istanbul. Right? Istanbul is a mega city of 16 million people. A total of 39 districts. Each district is shown in a different color here, and 26 different on the districts on the European side. About 10 million people live on the European side. So European side is not just uh, more touristic and historical. It's actually bigger, like both mm -hmm. geographically bigger and uh, population-wise. The Asian side is uh, about 6 million people and has 13 districts, including the islands. It's also categorized as the Asian side. So, um, uh, even from the map you can see that, you know, the Asian side is like smaller and 
less chaotic. Like, look at this place. Yeah. The, all of these like little areas are considered separate districts because they are so populated. Mm -hmm. Like in only in like uh, Besiktas, there are like two hundred thousand people. Like only in uh, Shishli, there's like I think like four hundred thousand or something. In this district, there are like a million people. Wow. It's it's one district, one million people. So we're right now in Kadikay. Now Kadikay is uh, one out of thirteen districts of the Asian side. But uh, since like this is Istanbul, so the center is somewhere like in the middle of the Bosphorus. So that would be like this area in general is considered to be the center. Now in Turkey, we don't really have city center like this. The concept city center doesn't exist. So it's a bit unclear where the center of Istanbul is. And we locals actually, uh, you know, discuss this all the time. Like where is the center? Because nobody knows. Like in a in cities, like smaller cities, it's very obvious yeah. because there's going to be just like one central place where everyone is and that's it. But in Istanbul, the, since the city is so huge and it's on two continents, mm. there's a sea in between, so it's a bit like messy. Now, generally speaking, like if you go to Google Maps and you type Istanbul, the, uh, the pin on the map is going to be here in Fatih. Mm. So according to Google Maps, the center of Istanbul is somewhere in Fatih. Since back in the day, so everything inside the Fatih district was Constantinople. So this was the city. So back in the day, the city was this. So the walls ended here, and then a little bit, uh, there was a little bit of uh, settlement here in Beyoğlu. This is where the Galata Tower and Taksim Square is. <laughs> so this, this place is actually quite old. It's like uh, the brand itself is like 100, 130 years old or so. And they uh, do some really, really it smells so good. Yeah, they have like these mini uh, simits, right? They have like croissant. Oh my gosh. Croissant. So many. Cakes. This is a place called uh, Jafer Erol. So Jafer Erol, it's, uh, it's a very old brand. <laughs> from 1807 so it's, uh, it's more than 200 years old but this is their only uh, store left so their original their first store in 1807 was opened in Eminönü which is on the European side oh, okay. like that's where we met mm -hmm. near the Spice Bazaar and uh, their original store doesn't exist anymore this is their only store right now but uh, I, like, I really like this place because they have uh, very good variety of sweets. What kind of things you can find in this place? Okay, this you can find orange, sour cherry. These are all these Turkish churros, we got baklava, wow. pistachio rolls. Yeah, look at them. Pinecone pickles. Oh, those are cool. See that? These are grape leaves. We do um, something called sarma. Sarma in Turkish means wrapping, like mm -hmm. the, the verb to wrap. Uh, we put rice inside and then uh, pine nuts. Uh, sometimes, how do you call that? Like dry, dry grapes, what do you call it? Fruit? Raisins? Prune? No? Raisins. Raisin. Yeah. What was prune? Prunes are. That's like dried. Fair? No, that's dates. Prunes, plums, I think. Yeah, I, no. So the raisins, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but it's usually it's, it's just rice, maybe some black peppers, pine nut. It's usually a vegetarian dish, and then you, you wrap it in the grape leaf, and then you boil it and serve cold. It's a vegetarian snack in the Turkish cuisine. They do this in uh, the Balkans as well, like Bulgaria, mm. Greece, Romania. And they usually 
have a similar name for it. Uh, so it's kind of like a Turkish slash East European dish, which is like basically the, the countries that were under the Ottoman Empire. You know? Yeah, look at the price of fish. It's so cheap. This is the fish market. Divide the price by 30 and add a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what that means. He's a salad fishing. Oh, look, it's still alive. <gasps> oh my god. Mr. Jakob. Ah, I get a behind the scenes look. Merhaba. Getting a behind the scenes tour of my smoothie. <laughs> Teşekkürler. <laughs> How's it? Really good. Good? Mm. Mine's really good too. Thank you. <laughs> we get such an extremely delicious and nutritious cocktail for less than a dollar. So nice. It's crazy. It's like a sin not to drink it. I know. It's so expensive in like Paris to get something like this. This would be like at least six euros. What? Yeah. Six euros? Yeah, it's expensive. That is insane. Six euros, like almost a hundred eighteen euros. I mean, you can have lunch for that yeah. kind of money. Yeah. Maybe I should move to Turkey. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I think this one is goat. Yeah, I think. Uh, his cow's head is bigger, his liver, this is a uh, heart, and uh, this is a uh, sheep liver. Sheep liver is uh, is one of the most expensive organs, like awful meat, because it's uh, very nutritious and delicious. This is sheep heart. This is a uh, cow's uh, liver, it's cheaper, you see the price difference. This cow tongue. Cow tongue is also a delicacy. Um, these are testicles and brains. Oh my god. That's sheep, that's sheep brain. These are uh, goat testicles. And then this is uh, cow's uh, kidney. Kid kidney and liver are the most nutritious meats you can eat. They're they have a lot of vitamins. This is heart, uh, cow's heart. It's really huge. Like the dry one. It's uh, stuffed with uh, uh, rice. Okay. And that thing on the top is the meat from the muscle. <laughs> How is it? It's good? Yeah. I like it. Okay. I recommend. So you like it? Yes, it was very good. I recommend. What's the name in Turkish? Midye. Midye. Yeah, Midye. Okay. Thank you. This place was actually on the financial times. Hindi means Turkey ah. in Turkish. Hindi like India. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. You know why these are different color? No, why? So um, these are pickled uh, with different berries and uh, fruits and vegetables. So for example, okay. this one is pickled with, in a brine with uh, blueberries. And this one is pickled with beetroot. Ah. That one is pickled <laughs> with quince. You know, we talked about queens. Yeah. This one is pickled with rose petals and uh, cranberry, tomato, and some of these are. Uh, this one is with garlic. It's one of my favorites. It's grilled, 
and uh, some of these uh, are also stuffed. So, for example, this one they removed the the seed and they stuffed it with uh, pepper. This one they stuffed it with uh, orange uh, and uh, with chili. Is even that one with uh, almonds? So that's the end of our tour. Thank you for being a great guide. Thanks for joining this tour. It's been a wonderful tour. So uh, if you want to learn more about Istanbul and uh, get some tips, visiting tips about Istanbul from a born and raised uh, local and a professional tour guide, <laughs> you can visit my blog site tipstambul.com and uh, read the articles I've written myself. Yes, the link will be in the description below. Thank you so much. It's been yeah. fun. Hi besties. Finally made it back to my Airbnb. It is 9.30 p.m. I am exhausted. It has been a long day. A fun day. An eventful day. But a very long day. Tomorrow I'm doing a food tour, which I'm really excited about. It's six hours long, so that should be interesting. But I will, of course, bring you guys along with me. I am going to hop in the shower and maybe order some food and go to bed. Welcome to Tuesday, September 19th. It is 9.15 a.m. I am doing a food tour today. It starts at 10.30, so I'm about to head out to the meeting point. I'm not super hungry, which is weird. I didn't eat dinner, and obviously I skipped breakfast. I'm not super hungry, so it's not off to a good start, because I did pay quite a bit of money for this tour, so I want to get my money's worth. So hopefully, once I start smelling some foods, the hunger will kick in. But yeah, let's get going. Scramble egg and uh, with uh, tomato, you can say. If you wish, shake the scramble Which turn into sour within three days because of this reason. They need some protection. Kardeş, dokuz tane şu klasikten başlayalım. So it's my last day. It's Thursday, September 21st. I am supposed to be going on a tour of the Hagia Sophia Mosque and the Blue Mosque at 9.30. I've been trying to get an Uber for the last hour and I just finally got one that's now two minutes away. And it's a 30 minute drive, so I think I'm probably gonna miss this tour, which is very annoying. One thing that is a little bit discouraging about Istanbul, I love the city so far but it is impossible to get a taxi or an Uber here. Finding a taxi isn't the hard part. It's actually getting them to take you where you need to go. I've had like five different Ubers cancel on me, finally got one who accepted, but then of course he tried to haggle me on the price. So yeah, long story short, that's something to keep in mind if you do come to Istanbul. Public transportation is really easy to use, but where I'm staying, it's like a 30 minute walk just to get to the tram. So it would have taken me an hour to get there. So I thought an Uber would be faster, but it ended up not being faster. So that is something to keep in mind if you come here. But it looks like he's almost here. So let's see if we can make it in the next 15 minutes.
guys, I'm literally walking to the ATM. I had to leave my bag in the Uber. Oh, such a fiasco. He didn't have a card reader. I didn't have cash. So I'm walking to the ATM and he was like, leave your bag. Cause he thought I was gonna run away, I guess. Today is not my day. Missed the tour that I was supposed to be going on. Um, it started at 9:30 and I got here at 10. So I won't be going inside, but this is the outside. And right across is the other one. The line is super long, and honestly, I don't feel like waiting. So I might come back later. Someone told me around 4 or 5 p.m. it's less busy. So I'm just gonna walk around, maybe grab some food, and I have another activity at 2 p.m. It's a Turkish spa, I'm really excited about that. And then maybe after that we can come back and see if there's less people and go inside. But for now, here's the outside. at this cafe close by and the servers were so nice I ordered my coffee and he started talking to me asking me where I was from brought me out a plate of fruit and Turkish pastry gave me a tea at the end honestly if you're a girl and a black girl at that come to Turkey they love us here if you're in Istanbul definitely visit the last Ottoman it's right near Sultanahmet Square they have food too but I only got a coffee and he put this little flower in my hair at the end. What a sweetie. I went to get my bill so I could pay and leave and he didn't even charge me. He said if I write him a TripAdvisor review, then it's free. So obviously I gave him a five star review.